video I will explain how to uh, do the resource loading for an ETL project so in my previous uh, video I explained uh, how to uh, do the effort estimation for ETL project based on the ETL architecture whatever I have showing now as you can see in this ETL architecture we have uh, assumed the number of tables mappings workflows scripts all those based on that uh, uh, we have calculated uh, the components and the effort which will uh, be required to finish the project you can see uh, uh, the components are there like source stage how many mappings how many scripts how many tables and views stored procedures functions and uh, scheduling part also then uh, we have defined the complexity of uh, each and every task like it's very simple simple medium high and very high and then the effort uh, required uh, uh, for those components at the end uh, um, we calculated as 412.5 uh, uh, percentage that is the uh, build effort based on that build effort we defined is at 36 uh, percent then um, for uh, the other phases like requirement analysis solution architecture design construction unit testing uh, sit uat support deployment project management hyper care we have defined some percentage or uh, the percentage distribution that is called so based on that as it is 100 percent and we calculated is as hundred thousand sixty five percentage then in the previous video I did not include this uh, contingency plan so this time I have added uh, 15 percent buffer so after adding 15 percent it uh, came around thousand two hundred twenty five point four seven uh, percentage so it means uh, for one person this many person this many days it will take to complete the project So let's go to the resource load based on these uh, uh, 1, 2, 2, 5. Yeah. So let's make it uh, 1, 2, 2, 5. Yeah, I have just mentioned uh, 1260. That is fine. Uh, but uh, one more consideration is as uh, you need to consider how many weeks or how many months uh, in uh, I mean how many months that project should be completed in this case I have assumed uh, it should be completed by six months so six months uh, is around 180 days and then we need to calculate the number of weeks so it should be by seven so the project should be completed uh, by 25 weeks but if you see the uh, the working days is five so in this case uh, if you divide it by uh, five it comes around 250 weeks 252 weeks so in that case so you need to consider 252 weeks so if you go to the uh, this resource load you can see I have uh, I mentioned week 1, week 2, week 3 and up to week 25 and uh, during all these 25 weeks I have uh, mentioned the uh, phases of the project starts with requirement analysis, solution architecture and design, construction and unit testing, then SIT, UAT support, go live, then hypercare. If you see here for uh, uh, based on this percentage whatever we have uh, uh, defined here while um, calculating calculating the effort based on that i have uh, mentioned uh, two weeks or i have uh, put here two weeks for requirement analysis two weeks for uh, solution architecture and design then around nine weeks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten weeks for construction and unit testing then four weeks for SIT system and integration testing. Then three weeks for UAT support. 
टू वीक्स फॉर गो लाइफ प्रिपरेशन एंड गो लाइफ एंड टू वीक्स फॉर हाइपर केयर देन इफ यू सी टू कंप्लीट दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी नीड फ्यू रिसोर्सेस एंड द रोल आई हैव डिफाइंड हियर फॉर दैट आई हैव मेंशन द वन ऑन साइड आर्किटेक्ट ऑन साइड ईटीएल लीड ऑफशोर ईटीएल लीड ऑफशोर ईटीएल डेवलपर ऑफशोर क्यूए टेस्टर ऑफशोर स्केड्यूलिंग डेवलपर वी फिर सी फॉर दिस रिक्वायरमेंट एनालिसिस फेज वी नीड वन ऑन साइड आर्किटेक्ट वन ऑन साइड ईटीएल लीड एंड वन ऑफशोर ईटीएल लीड एज यू कैन सी दीज आर जीरो मींस वी डोंट नीड दीज रिसोर्सेस ड्यूरिंग द रिक्वायरमेंट एनालिसिस सिमिलरली फिर सी फिर सी लेक द रोल नंबर थ्री एज यू कैन सी in all weeks i have mentioned uh, etl architecture or on site architect uh, should be available so it means for all these 25 weeks on site architect uh, is there then uh, if you see the on site etl lead okay that uh, person also should be there from end to end of the project up to uh, week number 25 Similarly, for offshore ETL lead also, that resource uh, should be there from the beginning to end of the project, up to hyper care. And then offshore ETL developer, offshore ETL developer, as you have seen here, during requirement analysis, uh, I have not considered offshore ETL developer. So during the solution architecture and design, I have included uh, two resources, uh, two developers. For this solution architecture and design, because during that time, uh, that architect uh, or uh, the design uh, phase, that mapping document and uh, the source to target mapping document and the design document will be created. So those people will be involved in that, including all these architect detail lead. Uh, then comes the construction and unit testing phase. As you can see, this uh, consists of ten weeks. And all these uh, on-site architect, ETL lead, offshore ETL lead, all will be there during the construction and unit testing phase. If you see this row number six, ETL offshore ETL developer, I have included uh, the previous phase. I included two resources, but uh, during the construction and uh, unit testing phase, uh, uh, I have increased that to six. So it means six ETL developers will be there during the build phase. Which may include four uh, senior developer and uh, two junior developers. Then uh, QA tester, QA tester also I have included uh, one resource during solution architect and design. The person, the QA tester, will have some understanding what all things are going to come. And then um, Uh, during the construction and unit testing, I have included uh, three resources from QA side. Those uh, three people will be uh, during the development phase also. They will uh, uh, try to understand and uh, how the testing will be done and what all test cases uh, need to be generated. Uh, those people also will be working on those things. then uh, offshore scheduling development uh, i have included one resource uh, during the construction and unit testing uh, one uh, resource is enough to uh, schedule the jobs then uh, let's go to the system and uh, integration testing sit phase as you can see here sit phase the on site uh, etl architect on site architect is there Uh, during the SID phase, similarly on site ETL lead also is there. Then uh, ETL developer, as uh, let me change it. Uh, yeah, so you can see uh, during development phase uh, included the uh, six resources or ETL developer role, but during SID uh, decreasing uh, the uh, the number to four. It means we are releasing. Uh, two resources as uh, the workload will be little less so these people what they will do during the sit if any uh, defects are coming those people or box are coming those people will be working on the, fixing those box 
then uh, QA yeah testing same three resource uh, will be continuing uh, in the SIT page uh, then the developer scheduling developer also will be there and then the UAT UAT support uh, during US UAT support um, this on site uh, ETL architect will be there then on site uh, lead offshore lead uh, will reduce uh, to three here this ETL developer the number will be three it means uh, we are reducing the number at that time one person will be released and uh, the next QA tester these three will be there in case of anything um, any box are there UAT box those uh, during uh, the change these people uh, this developers ETL developer will uh, uh, do the change and these QA testers will be testing those uh, changes uh, same we are going with the scheduling one person then the go live uh, during this uh, uh, go live phase all people will be there but number will be different like uh, on-site architect on-site ETL lead offshore ETL lead and um, and consider uh, uh, two resources from ETL development side and uh, one from QA and uh, one person for scheduling development and then once the project goes live after that hypercare starts i have considered two weeks for hypercare uh, two weeks so uh, i'm considering uh, one etl architect or on-site architect one etl lead on-site lead offshore etl lead and uh, two etl developers and uh, one qa one scheduling so these people these many people should be able to support during hypercare if any uh, box are coming those people should be able to uh, fix the box so in this way uh, i have considered and as per the calculation i have 1260 pds and uh, if you divide it by that uh, with five it comes around 250 around so total weeks it should be 250 here so in this case um, i have considered uh, 250 weeks and it's exactly matching with that so in 25 weeks the project can be completed uh, with uh, this kind of resource loading with all these roles on site architect on site detail lead on offshore detail lead offshore detail developer offshore qa tester offshore scheduling developer and uh, if you go right and if you want to calculate the cost uh, as for the red card uh, you can uh, calculate the cost so at the end you will identify or you will come to know how much um, uh, billing uh, needs to be done for this kind of project for example if for on site architect if you are uh, charging 100 dollar per hour based on that uh, uh, it will be 125 into uh, 8 into 100 so in that way that uh, cost can be calculated so this is one uh, simple uh, resource loading so i hope uh, it will give some basic understanding on how the resource loading is done based on the effort for an etl, ETL project thank you